talked about suppressed technology before when I talked about the Stirling engine and, uh, and other types of uh, uh, like uh, ammonia as fuel and uh, those kind of things. And here's another one that's clearly being suppressed. It's called MTEC. It is a heat engine just like the Stirling engine, but uh, the industries decided uh, a number of years ago that they would push the Stirling engine in favor of this technology. This technology is uh, rather weird. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, metal vapor uh, being uh, pushed through a membrane causing electricity. You can follow the link next to this video and learn a little bit more about it. It's been uh, researched from A to Z by the US Department of Energy and it has an estimated uh, cost of 35 US dollars per watt. Uh, according uh, to the US uh, Department of Energy, it's even 20, 10 to 20 cents per watt if you make uh, mass produced units. But of course that's not happening because the industry is suppressing these type of technologies. These type of technologies like, uh, like the Stirling engine and MTEC could be combined with solar concentrators uh, using mirrors and that would create a highly distributed and very cheap uh, low cost uh, energy source for the whole or most of the US because most of the US has plenty of sunshine to work with concentrated solar power. So I hope you find this interesting and I hope you can see uh, and a little bit with me that there is a, a really a suppression going on of any technology that is not using fossil fuels or that is not nuclear because both technologies, fossil fuel and, tec and, and nuclear technologies in terms of power plants will lead to centralized power plants which, can be, uh, which means that you can be exploited as a consumer of that power while the distributed models of power generation like wind and, and this concentrated solar power are made very expensive by, by putting to uh, the back technologies that would be cheaper. So uh, I hope you find this interesting and I hope you let other people know about this. It's not the only uh, heat engine that is uh, not uh, brought into the mainstream on purpose. And by the way, the Stirling engine is now uh, commercialized at about 10 euros per watt, which is a ridiculous price for a very, very simple design engine. So this always uh, blows my mind and it makes me very mad to see this. I hope you find it interesting. Thanks for, for listening.